He's great. You know, we're, we're very lucky to, to be able to tell continuing stories with our characters, right? We've got the great source material from the Marvel comics, and audiences want to come with us on further adventures. When we get to a part three, we think, okay, now it's time to do something different, to do something unexpected, and that's why we hired Taika Waititi. He's done amazing films that are both unbelievably funny, but very touching, very moving, and we wanted Thor to sort of move on to another level with the humor, with the action, and one of the ways we did that was to bring in the Incredible Hulk. And Mark Ruffalo and Chris Hemsworth are so amazing together that uh, it's a, a whole new buddy, buddy roadshow can start. We had a conversation for many years saying we want to bring Hela, she's one of the most famous villains in the Thor pantheon. Let's bring Hela to the screen in Thor Ragnarok. We started talking about actresses. There was one name, but we thought that's sort of the, that's the dream name. So some, is there anybody like that maybe? And it was Kate Blanchett, and she said yes. And she loved Taika, she knew him from uh, uh, New Zealand, work they'd done in Australia. And I still can't believe that she did this movie, and she crushed it. She's an amazing villain, she's terrifying, she's charismatic, she nearly kicks everybody's ass in the entire movie, um, and also brings a pathos to this otherwise very sort of uh, villainous character. It, it is, and, and, and seeing the fans so excited, seeing the cast so excited, everybody's worked so hard on this movie for so many years, and to come here tonight and finally show it to the world and get that reaction, it's my favorite, favorite part of the whole experience.